Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Victoria to the Macedonian Empire. In the last episode, we cleaned our empire of the rebels once again. Um, we also, um, just, well, incorporated a small state that was over here, uh, Micmac, I think it was called, um, into our empire. They were in our sphere, but they kept kind of swapping governments. And I kept having to rebring them in the sphere, so I'm like, you know what? Forget it. We'll just, you know, incorporate you into the empire proper. So that's what we did. Um, we also worked to continue building up our military and getting prepared for the eventual transition to Hearts of Iron. And so this is the core of our army at the moment. And that is an impressive looking force. Hopefully it translates pretty well uh, across the Hearts of Iron. Um, so, I haven't really... I mean, I've done some test conversions from earlier save files, but um, I haven't actually converted anything recent to really kind of see what it's going to look like just yet. And we have a few more armies that are building up to proper strength, and hopefully we won't have any too many more nasty rebellions here at the end. Um, we are actually working on the last technology that is available in the game. So that will be done shortly here. Um, we are at 1928. So we have at most seven years left. And in fact, it is very possible that this may actually be the last episode in Victoria 2 as part of the Macedonian Empire Mega Campaign. Um, depends on what the situation is at the end of the episode. If uh, everything's clean, we're good, then I might just go ahead and say, you know what, let's convert. If not, then uh, we might have to run another episode just to get to a good, clean starting spot for Hearts of Iron. So, let's go ahead and unpause things. Oh, 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 yeah, that's right. I got this, these transports down here. Let me bring them in somewhere to drop off their troops to finish cleaning this up. One thing I might want to do here is actually build up some more ships. Um... Let's see, let's build... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cruisers, and let's build uh, four dreadnoughts. Oh, hold on. Um, four dreadnoughts. See if we can get that done. Alright, actually, let me take a look at the sphere here. Sphere is clean. Yeah, we had the problem with Comania where we just we couldn't overcome what uh, Georgia was doing because Croatia kind of interfered. Um, though it does look like I probably didn't have to worry about Croatia so much. Oh well. Alright, got a new core. Sayak is now a core territory. This is good, after so many wars we fought. Lockout. Capitalists in one of our states have called a lockout following a period of intensifying labor conflicts in the area. Workers have been informed by management that no one is welcome back to work, while union sympathies still run high among the employed. Local police have expressed support for the move, citing a long series of disturbances at the factory, some even bordering on sabotage. Hey, that's unconstitutional. Let's see, all rich strata. We do not want more socialist support. No. 
So I'm trying to get this empire shifted towards fascism. Fascism. If I can speak properly. Oh boy, there we go. Alright, let's see where my rebel hunters are. Alright, you guys hunting rebels. Rebels, good. Oh, that guy's heading over there. These guys are not hunting rebels. Oh, those are airplanes. Okay, so these guys are actually being built up. So yeah, we definitely don't want them being part of this. So, here's a question. Where were... I think we're okay here. These guys are hunting rebels. I think we were waiting for some more troops here. So let's do this. Have you march... You march here. And then march back. Just clear all this out. Have you march here. Then march through here. Wipe all that stuff out. Then come back. And that should clear the area out. You forty seven thousand. Man, that is a lot of enemy troops. A lot of rebels. Oh, have you guys march through there? Have you guys march through there? Wipe those guys out. There we go. And we'll have you swing through there and then come back. Everybody who's moving, come back to where you started once you're done. There we go. Let's see. As long as our regiments and the core of our army did not rebel, then we should be all right. Uh, let's see. Where or anything over here we need to worry about? No, they're at 57. They need one more. It's getting built around here somewhere. I can't quite remember where. Oh, mass culture in the avant-garde, and there is no more research to work on. So, we are done with the research. Uh, flashpoint tension, not worry about flashpoint tension. Alright, so yeah, they've scrubbed everything. Starting to get our ships. Those guys are back. They should be. Black shirts. The emerging fascist party in one of our states has formed a paramilitary corps organized with a military command chain, ideologically coherent and ready to do the bidding of the fascist party leaders. The group is colloquially referred to as the black shirts from the iconic militaresque shirts that they have been take they have taken to wearing. This trend is new to the Macedonian politics, and some fear that it might lead to a chain reaction with other parties forming military organizations of their own. 
Uh, leave them be and hope that they don't gain too much ground. No, we want support. Oh, got a new core. What are we looking at? 668,000. Sounds like I'm still recruiting new troops. Ah. Is this modern design? Ah, the Royal Guard is coming up to strength. Ah, if some of those troops don't make it to their armies, then we can always fix it later. We are still building armies, are we not? Yes, we are. Okay, so lots of lots of armor we need to get built. Now, do we need to worry about anything down here? Did any rebels rise up in any of the islands down here? It doesn't look like it. All right, what about up here? Anything? Anything? Just some Cherokee units. That's interesting. They're walking through my territory. Actually, what I'm... No, we're going to wait for uh, what we currently have queued up the build first. Before I start queuing more stuff up. Actually, let's have you march down there and come back. So it looks like that all of the cruisers are done being built. And the dreadnoughts are under construction. So let's go ahead and split this. Five and five, we'll send you to the Atlantic Fleet. I'll send you guys to the Pacific Fleet. And I actually renamed these Atlantic Fleet and Pacific Fleet. Disperse them. Right, we are down to 114,000 rebels. Oh, here comes the first of our new dreadnoughts. International women's suffrage. While women's suffrage has been achieved in, Ma in the Macedonian Empire, many other countries still lack the wonders of a modern, egalitarian democracy. From time to time in a debate or an international conference, it might be good to point this out to other countries or use it as an argument to claim tensions on the home front. I know of a little place to could uh, decidedly get calmer. At least we're better than the people over in. And gain some prestige. I would take the drop in militancy myself. Uh, enforce the Macedonian curricula, which, I mean, that really doesn't matter to me. Because they're not researching anything at the moment. I hope we can get all of these tanks built. Diplomacy. Let me take a look here. Comania. It's the only one I'm really concerned about. 
I'll probably never actually be able to bring them back into the sphere. But as long as we can keep them out of Georgia's sphere, that's, that's really what I'm at, uh, interested in right now. Alright, we are down to 12,000 rebels. Over there in the Maldives. Well... Can we do something about that? Oh, it does sound like we are still building new units. This is this great Croatia. Explosive factory has been built. Sympathy strike. Workers in a machine shop in one of our states have gone out in strike, protesting all manner of ills real or perceived in society as a whole and in the workplace. What is infinitely worse than a few redbeards taking a few days off, however, is that many other workers from all across the state have joined them in a statewide sympathy strike, causing the productive engine of the state to grind to more or less immediate halt. Harsh methods might have to be employed to resolve this little situation. Time is on our side. Let us wait them out with vague promises, but little or no action. Curtail local press distribution for any papers suspected of collaboration. I will just go with the one. You know, one state be a little bit of a problem is no big deal. All right, we gotta go. We gotta get these guys wiped out in the Maldives. All right. So let's get my transports. Let's swing them over to Calcutta. Actually, let's expand your naval base while we're at it. Can't hurt. And let's get you guys to Calcutta. Thirty thousand men should be more than enough. Yeah, they're gonna occupy the Maldives, but that's no, nothing I'm worried about. So these guys are getting there. Alright, you guys, load up. Get down there, and because they're hunting rebels, they should immediately jump off the ships on their own and attack the rebels. International crisis. Ooh, what's the crisis? Back in country from you, eh? Uh, let's see, what's this crisis? Liberation of Xia. Northern Empire. Yue. Ah, uh, sure. We'll proceed to back Yue. My ally. France has backed Xia, and France has immediately made a proposal of white peace, and we proceed, and yeah, nothing happened. Huh, avant garde art. All right. Just gotta reoccupy the Maldives, and then we'll be done there. New core. What's my tank production look at? Look like we're using way more. Oh, really? Uh, Anarchist liberals this time around. Two million six hundred and fifty-three thousand anarcho liberal rebels. Uh. Well, all right, 
right, so we cleared that up. Let's go ahead and get these guys out, wiping out. Actually, let's do this. You go there, you go there, you go there, and then you go there, and then you come back. And you go there, you go there. there and come back I don't think we really need to do anything here but we're gonna swing them out wipe out those guys and come back and you guys Take care of business. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else we're going to be doing as far as expanding the Empire at this point. So, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll clean these Rebels up. Um, we've... I think we're probably at the limit of how many tanks we can actually build as well. So... We might just have to go ahead and call the episode, or call the series, um, or for this particular game, and then move on. Mechanized mining, alright. Let's see. Do we need to worry about anything over here? No, it looks like that's being taken care of. All right, let's check the... Yep, there we go. We need to take these guys out. Any other... No. Anybody down here? Oh, yep. We got these guys. Benjar Masson. All right, you guys... Let's get them picked up. All these battles. Let's see, I'm here with the ringleaders. All right, you guys. Get over here. I should come down here. We are down to 1.5 million rebels. I was glad that in, in these rebellions that we didn't lose any troops. From our core armies. All right. Let's see, it's nineteen twenty nine, June of nineteen twenty nine. It's going to take a while to get rid of these guys. Our athletes are victorious. Alright, some of our athletes who competed in the recent Olympic Games have been victorious and returned home. Alright, cleared that up. Oh my god, more? Not that many more. Okay, well, let's take care of the new ones. You guys 
march down there come back deal with that uh, you guys wipe these guys out and come back get out there take these guys all out and come back I just hope we don't have a communist rebellion here while we're working on cleaning this mess up Uh, let's see, movements. Communists are at 36%. Mfunj and Chernigov. Increase opinion. It looks like the George has stopped actively influencing Kumania. That might be interesting. All right, I mean, could we get... Let's bring these guys around manually. Oh no. To help wipe this out. And then come back. So I don't think that these guys are going to be getting any new units anytime soon. We can always just manually add them in once they've rallied. Yep, there we go. Help clean us up a little bit faster. And we are grinding them down. We're down to 617,000. Military leader died. Actually, can you guys just come down here real quick? And then swing back over there? Oh, that's 62 different armies. I'm like, 61,000? This is everybody but the tanks. Let's get these guys wiped out. Alright, politics. Forty-two percent. I'm hoping we can clean this up before that becomes a problem. So I want a nice, clean ending to the episode. Yeah, and you know, again to reiterate, there's really nothing left to do other than put down rebels. Let's see, interwar cavalry. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna tell these guys to go hunt rebels. Just automate it. They'll come back once they're done. Help me discover jazz. Alright, Ning. 
can add them to sphere. Well, they're still building some influence, but very slowly. get down here and wipe that guy out before he can do anything and then come back. Alright. We're down to what? 98,000. Occupations, hostile occupations. We're almost, almost there. All right, we've got a new core. Nineteen thirty. down to 47,000. Right, this is getting all cleaned up. Naval exercises, Navy attrition minus 10%. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Oh, speaking of Navy. We got these dreadnoughts. Officer insulted. A young Yi boy in Guiyang uh, has had to learn the hard way that one does not insult officers of the Macedonian army without it having its consequences. As he comes to his senses again, he puts his fingers to his nose and draws them back red with blood. The standing army in Guiyang is causing a strain on relations with locals. He could enforce a stricter code of conduct, but that would cause uproar in the capital. Yep, I don't care. Alright, balance this out and let's send these dreadnoughts out to the fleets. Uh, you get over here. We're down to 18,000 rebels. Hostile occupations. Oh, that won't be there soon enough. Gone. Rebel occupations. Oh, you got 15,000 down here. All right. Let's get my transports. We'll grab an army and then we'll deal with that. Load them up. Get them over here. And that's the last 15,000 rebels. And the last occupation we need to worry about. Hopefully we don't have any more uprisings. Before we get this clean. We gained a bunch of research points that we don't really need anymore. Alright, got another core. Yep. And my army is now moving. Alright, let's clean up this occupation. Then we'll get this army back to the mainland, and then that will be good. All right, load them up and drop them off over here. All 
Yeah, we haven't had any new tanks build out here in a while. So I think we're probably hit our limit in how many tanks we can actually build in this game. So. Yep. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it here. So this is going to be the last episode in Victoria 2 for the Macedonian Empire. It was a fun run. I really enjoyed the game. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe we might get an announcement for Victoria 3 eventually. That would be really nice. So. We will now convert over to Hearts of Iron 3. Not Hearts of Iron 4. The converter is not functional yet. Um, and then we will pick up where we left off and continue our conquest of Earth. Um, it, there might be a little bit of a delay for the start of the first episode of the Hearts of Iron 3 series. Um, I've, as I said, I've done some test conversions and it looks like there might be a little work I might need to do as far as the actual tweaking the mod itself as well as maybe tweaking the save file um, for the start of the Hearts of Iron series. Um, so I'm hopefully we'll be able to get that done before the next recording session, but if I don't, I might have to skip a day or skip a session um, before we start up, but we'll see what happens. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time.